Okay, next up is a quick little video on CSS text decoration property. Now, as the name implies, we're decorating the text in some way. Now, there's three possible values, well, actually four possible values that we can use for this. That is underline, overline, line through, or none. The default for absolutely every element except for anchor tags. Anchor tags by default get a text decoration. So in my sample page here with my three paragraphs, if I were to, um, let's just make this Fuji at Magni. We'll take that and we'll turn that into an anchor tag. So we'll say href, there we are. And as soon as I save this, there we go. Now this is an anchor tag and you can see there's the text decoration, the underline appearing. Now I've got three classes here just so I can target the three paragraphs separately. We'll come up in here and we'll add a style for the anchor tag as well. And we'll say text decoration is none on that. There we go. So the text decoration is go gone on the anchor. It's disappeared. So that's the first value. Second one, text decoration underline. So the entire paragraph, everything inside of there, now is the underline. And the second one here, we're going to say text decoration is going to be overline. There we are. So this line is above each one of these lines of text. That's why we don't have anything at the bottom. But there is something at the top, just like here. Now, if you want to use multiple properties, you can do that as well. You can't put none and something else, but you can come in here, say text decoration, and I want to have the underline, and I want to have the overline. Oops, not overflow, but overline. There we go. So now there's lines on the top and bottom of each one of these lines. Now the final value for this, that is the line through. You'd think strike through because that's what word processor use, word processors use, but uh, line through is the property. And that's it. That is the text decoration property. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. In the description, I've got a link to this sample page so you can play around with that. And as always, thanks for watching.